Hello ladies and gents, Ro here and welcome to No Unknown Films. Today we can continue our iMovie tutorials and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to import from your iPhone, iPad, iPad mini, from any iDevice basically straight into iMovie or straight to your desktop. So let's begin, let's do it the simple way straight into iMovie. We're going to first open up iMovie and uh, just to show you guys I am running on iMovie 10.0.6 which is the newest version that comes with OS X Yosemite. I do recommend you upgrade to Yosemite because it will make, well, it made my life easier. I don't know, I hope I hope it makes your guys' life easier. I know it's, if you are a college student, um, I know with some, some of the programs, or if you're a digital design student, sometimes you might wanna wait a little bit, that way everything's fully uh, upgraded and everything's uh, functioning regarding if you need to use it with applications that are not compatible with everything, then I would recommend waiting. But for example, for now, let me just, if iMovie will launch, here we go. I had to force open it. But um, with the iMovie, for now, I'm just gonna show you um, about, if you go to iMovie, about iMovie, I am running on iMovie version 10.0.6, like I already said, just wanted to show you that. Um, but for now, I do recommend upgrading to Yosemite. And, uh, to begin, first what you want to do is you want to get your iDevice, your cord, your cable, and plug it into your USB port, and just plug it in. And if it doesn't automatically pop up, you leave it open for a second. You let it plug in. Um, with iMovie open, it should, a window should pop up that says that you want to import, including images or anything. Now, if nothing pops up, I do. You can go straight into import option here, and this does work with uh, the older version of iMovie as well. If you're on an older version, it, it will be just a little bit different. But if you just go to the import here, if nothing pops up, and you'll see within the cameras or devices option, you'll see your device. Mine's just Rose iPhone. I'm going to select it here. And you'll see some of the images and uh, videos that we're regarding here. If you just, you can just click on one and hit import selected, which is, this is the only one. You can also, at the very top right hand corner, you can make it different options. You can make it only photos or videos or all clips, or you can go hide import it as well. And you can adjust the size of them as well here and show wave formats here, which is pretty cool. But I'm, I don't need the wave formats, we're only importing. And you can also select multiple ones by holding the command key down and then selecting. And then from here, you can select multiple ones as you as you please. So now we have three selected. All you have to do is hit import selected or also pay attention at the very top, at the very top of your screen here is this import to. This is the event you want to import it to. For example, I'm going to do the iMovie tutorial, but I'm not going to really import these either. I'm just showing you guys this as an example. But as soon as you hit import selected, it should take you directly and it'll import, it'll give you a little progress bar at the top right hand corner circle showing you how long it's going to take the import. And while it's importing, be sure to leave your I device your iPhone iPad uh, connected as it imports and let it fully import it will also say like top right hand corner will say a completed or you'll see all your footage within the event that you chose to put it in and once you see all that then you can safely eject your device and everything will be imported into iMovie directly now that we know how to import straight into iMovie I'm gonna show you guys how to import um, straight to your desktop I'm gonna minimize iMovie here and this is, um, I know this is personally only works with OS 10 Yosemite. You can use third party applications like uh, Discade, which is available for free download, um, like Discade, or um, I believe you might be able to find an additional one within the App Store for free to use. But if you are running an OS 10 Yosemite, I do suggest using Image Capture. If you go to Search Bar, which is your uh, Spotlight search, you can go type in um, Image Capture. You can also do this through iPhoto as well if you have iPhoto. iPhoto is um, a little bit different because it wants to import everything. Image Capture on the other hand lets you select what you want to import. So here's Image Capture. I'm going to launch it here and uh, it should recognize my device right here. There, there it is, Rose iPhone. And as soon as you select it, you'll have a list of items that you can import, which is right here. And <laughs> there's a funny picture. but. Um, for example, it sh shows a little checkbox, meaning you've already imported it onto your computer, but you can select it and you hit hold the command button as well to select multiple ones. And from here, you can drag and then drag them straight into your desktop. I'm going to show you right here, and it just shows you a little progress bar. Depending how many images or videos you selected, you'll import them. And as you can see, I just dragged them straight to my desktop, the three images, and they're straight 
here. But I'm going to move them to trash because I already have those images. That was just an example. And from here, you can select or import and or import all. And you can select what folder you, you can you want to post. I'm going to import them to as well. But simply dragging and dropping is the way I like to do it. And there you guys have it. That's basically how you import straight into iMovie from your iDevice or straight to your desktop. Hope this tutorial helped. Be sure to leave a comment or question anything um, regarding iMovie or anything Mac related in the comment section below. I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys next tutorial and later. Let my life be the proof, the proof of your love.